good morning you guys so i thought i would film a day in the life type thing because today i'm trying to get some spring cleaning done look at this pretty rose from mother's day so mother's day was a hit we went to ruth chris with it which is very very expensive i don't know what that is i woke up with a little mark on my face which is very expensive like more expensive than i realized i think but it's like a once in a lifetime type thing that i have been kind of thinking about wanting to do for a long time so my husband made reservations. I don't know how he got reservations on actual Mother's Day itself, but he was able to. Um, so we went there, me or myself, my husband and my daughter went. I am drinking one of those uh, packets I showed you in my favorites video with a little bit of caffeine in it. Um, but it was really, really nice. I got the petite filet with shrimp. He got some crazy order of course and my daughter just got one of the fillets but the potatoes you guys it was just outstanding we went to the one in philadelphia i'll put the uh link in the like what one it was it was outstanding we had so much fun we felt so bougie i'll never do it again because it was the most expensive meal i've ever had in my life i don't know what that is it kind of hurts i wonder if i'm getting a pimple or like a rash so that was great. Mother's Day was fabulous. I worked Monday, which was yesterday. So I did like an eight hour day so that I could have today off because my daughter isn't feeling good still. Um, she had strep A. They didn't give her antibiotics because I stupidly thought she was feeling better. So I just don't want her to take them unless it's absolutely necessary. But she just isn't getting better. So I called them. So I'm waiting for them. And then... Today I'm going to do spring cleaning. We have to go to the grocery store or Walmart and get a few things. I need milk, shampoo, trash bags, ketchup, baby powder, and stuff to make fajitas for dinner. Maybe we'll make dinner together. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to take you with me. I got to put all of my summer, my winter clothes away and get all my summer stuff out because I think the weather's finally broke. So we'll do spring cleaning together or organizing. And I bought a new perfume and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin, hyperallergenic, um, all kinds of stuff. But I bought the rollerball version to make sure I like it. I can't believe it. I got to go see what that is. It's like really burning. Um, it was hyperallergenic, all this stuff. And But I bought the rollerball first to make sure I like it. But I noticed that it is like... Of course, you can't see it here, but like in between my breast, it like broke me um, like a rash and it's like itchy and burned. So I probably won't use the rollerball again. Maybe it was too concentrated for my skin. I have such sensitive skin, so I, I'm going to assume that's what it is. I noticed the, a couple nights ago, my wrist was so itchy going to bed and I didn't know what it was from, but I think that's from what it what it was from. So yeah, Mother's Day was a hit. I would love to hear about your Mother's Day or if you celebrated at all or what you decided to do. Um, and let's just get our day started. So I'm like I said, I'm just waiting for the nurse. I worked eight hours yesterday, so I took today off um, and I helped them get some things done. And I took uh, the grandmother after we finished with my client, I took his grandmother to look for shoes which it's a, like a family thing. Like I know I'm his worker, but she's elderly too. And anytime I help her, it also is helping him. Do you know what I mean? So helping the whole family, it just makes things run smoother. Um, and we just do what works for us. And I'm allowed 25 hours a week. So however we decide to spread that amongst our weeks is what we do. It's kind of up to us how we figure out how to help each other or how I help them, I should say. And after we got what we had to do, the grandmother needed shoes. So that's what we went to do. Um, yeah, so let's get our day started. Okay, you guys. Hi, guys. So I wanted to show you really quick what I got for Mother's Day. My husband bought me this gorgeous hat for the Zach Bryan concert. Sorry, that's not it. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous hat for Zach Bryan. I'm obsessed and you want to know something hilarious. This is how much my sister... I know that my sister and my husband obviously aren't biologically related. Thank God, right? But look how beautiful. It's got the band on it. It's gorgeous. It looks like it's burnt and worn. Love it. It's going to match my boots. But my sister and my husband... My husband has been with my sister since she was five. 
and my other sister since she was like six and a half. They're like 18 months apart, so maybe five and seven. That's They don't remember life without him. So they, he is their father in many ways. I don't know how to explain it. They're just so alike and close. And I know that people, oh my God, of course I'm going to drop it. I know some people who have never experienced adoption or fostering or taking on non-blood family might not quite understand, but the people that do, they do. And it's like, sometimes people bonded through marriage or fostering or adopting sometimes they're even closer than blood relatives if you know what I mean and that's how I feel and my sister went and bought me one too <laughs> that's how much either they a know me or b are identical so this is the start of what's going to go on today these are my new dresses I someone asked me my friend on here wanted me to maybe show some swimsuits and I really want to, but my husband really, really spoiled me for Mother's Day. So I'm trying not to ask for anything right now. Not that it's like an issue, but he spent like $400 on dinner. And I really, really want to not be ungrateful. But I am going to Walmart today. So if I see any swimsuits, I might try them on. I won't buy them, but I might try them on for you. That way it's like a bonus. So let's just see where we go. But I wanted to show my two beautiful, beautiful new hats. And the crazy part is, is I was looking at a hat like that in white. So now I have the best of both worlds. So yes, I'm going to get ready for today. And we are going to start working on my closet. This is the mess that we're looking at. So yeah, yeah, just real life. This is the mess. And this is more. That's a donation pile. Um, A lot of good stuff in there that just my grandmother has given me but I see how I have the black marks on the wall I'm gonna start painting in here in the next couple weeks so I want to get all this this is all my summer clothes that's all my winter stuff that has to be swapped so yeah real life it's snarly in here it's bad and here's more stuff there's more stuff under the damn bed shoes everywhere it's just it's gonna be that kind of a day it's time to get my ass in gear and get this done Okay, friends, so I don't know how much exactly of this I'm going to show because I don't want to bore you to death, but this is what we're working with. So I have this closet. This was my daughter's original room. I've showed this in a video. I will kind of, um, I'll link that for you. I, I showed this like when I had first moved all my stuff into this room. So this was originally my daughter's room. And my sister was in the bigger room. Then when my sister moved out, my daughter moved over to the bigger room. And this became like a closet for me slash makeup beauty room. I do have a, two closets in my bedroom. But this is what I'm working with. This is all of my purses and all of my winter and all of my shoes. Winter clothes, sorry. So this is what I'm working with. I don't, like I said, want to bore you to death. I might show just some stuff of me starting to pull out dresses to hang them up. Maybe what I'll do is get all of this down first. And then we'll just start going through some of the summer stuff. And then here, it's like 11 o'clock. I still haven't heard from the doctor. So I feel like around 1, I'll run to Walmart if I haven't heard from them yet. So let's just get started. It opens up on the other side as well. And I have my other closet to go through and my husband's crap obviously this won't all get done in one day and i'm also just going to go through like i said i do have a pile under there started for donation i wish i knew of like a women's shelter because they can always use clothes even if it's like fancier clothes they can always use it you just never know i just have a lot to get going so i think i'm gonna just start pulling out all of my winter stuff and i will be back to show you the progress Okay, friends, so this is what I have so far, and here, and there. Please don't judge the mess. It is. I'm somebody who does not thrive in chaos. I cannot stand mess, but I have so many hangers. A lot of these um, are, like, recycled. I know that sounds weird, but, like, my grandmother gives me so many. I bought, like, one box of 50 from Walmart. I do prefer the more velvet hangers, but I do have so many hangers. So I'm going to keep working on this, empty out this closet, and then we're going to head to Walmart, and then we'll come home and we'll start hanging stuff, I think. Okay, guys, big question. So this dress was, it's a Calvin Klein. 
it was $23. My sister bought this for me years ago. I do have a wedding sometime in the future. I have no, oh Jesus, I just knocked over that entire pile. I do have a wedding coming up. I have no idea when. Um, should I keep it? I know it doesn't look much. Maybe I would need to try it on for you guys. I love it. It's like crushed velvet. It's navy, uh, royal blue, which is very in right now. Is this a keep? I'm, I just feel like I can't get rid of it. My husband hates it. Not like in a mean way, but I think he doesn't understand how gorgeous it really is. Let me know what you think. Please, it's very, very important. I take your opinions very serious. Uh, I just don't, feel, excuse me, feel like I could get rid of it. Let me know. Okay, you guys, so I am headed into Walmart right now. If they happen to have some swimsuits, I will definitely grab them and show them and try them on for you. My daughter isn't feeling good, so I don't know how much time I want to really spend here. It's not too busy, so we'll go see if they have any swimsuits. If not, I probably will take a look at online shopping and see what's out there. Um, like I said, well, uh, me and swimsuits are not the best pair. I don't love swimsuits. <laughs> I think most uh, women aren't very fond of swimsuits. So we'll see what we can find. Okay, friends. So unfortunately, this Walmart was a total waste. Um, they had a few plus size um, where I could see where they were, but either they were way too big or they were not a style that I would wear because I do not wear bikinis. It's just a personal preference. I won't even try them on. I know people have asked me in the past to try bikinis on, but it's just totally not going to happen for me. Um, and never. Like, I have, uh, I kind of messed up my body when I gained so much weight and then lost a lot of weight. Not that I ruined it, but it's definitely not <laughs> appealing to the eye to be in a bikini for myself. Um, so I'm going to check other places. Actually, I'm going to look on Shein as well. I did buy bathing suits there last year and I really like them. Um, I do have a big bathing suit haul that I will link for you. So we'll see. I'm going to head home and check on my daughter. I actually got all I needed. And would you believe they were out of baby powder? Like all baby powder. And my husband needs it for work because he sweats a lot. But they had no baby powder. Can you believe that? That's so weird. I checked in the cosmetic. I checked in the baby section. No baby powder. So and I have this dress on. I'm also wearing a freaking shapewear Woo, that is not flattering oh my god i will keep that in there for you guys but yeah it's just this plum dress that i don't usually wear it's kind of like a house dress and that's this rash you guys look at this rash that's from perfume that's the only thing that i put in there what would you suggest i know that's a little tmi what would you suggest it's like really uncomfortable and i do not need it turning into a yeast infection so if anyone has recommendations i do have leftover steroid cream so that's what i've been putting on it but it is uncomfortable so i'm gonna head home and we're gonna keep working on my closet it looks like the sun went away so i'm hoping the sun comes back i'm gonna go home open my windows back up and start finishing up my closets okay friends even though the um bathing suits were a bust i picked this up it's the caramelized onion and bacon dip from taste and S taste of the south their pickle dip's pretty good i don't love the spinach dip just because they put artichokes in it and i just don't like artichokes with my spinach i like them separate that was weird um this is a sorry a small batch a small batch caramelized onions and real smoky bacon I bought it because it, I've been wanting to try it, but it was always pretty uh, expensive. And today they had it on sale for like $3.50. And it's really good. Give this a try. If you're, it looks, oh my goodness, what's with my words? It's good with the Ritz crackers. I haven't tried it with potato chips yet. You want to know something weird though? I feel like this would be a good Christmas dip. Is that weird to say? It's like super smoky. For some reason, it reminds me of a good Christmas dip. Let me know if you've tried this. I'm somebody who loves dips, so if I give you a good recommendation for a dip, trust me, it's good. Okay, friends, this is what we're looking at. Almost all of my dresses are completely hung up. These are still all of my winter stuff. These are shorts that I'm all gonna I'm gonna try on all these shorts, see if they fit. This is so far the donation pile. Now I'm just my dilemma with this is do I list this stuff on Poshmark? 
for like affordable and let people kind of see or do I just donate it to a local thrift store and get it out of my house and get it out of my hair listing it all is very very time consuming but I would love your opinion I'll keep it for a couple days and I'll see what you think I'm gonna try on all these shorts and see what fits because I'm trying to weed out things that I will never wear it's hard for me to donate anything like these boohoo shorts are really nice shorts but I bought them way, way too big and they make me look very heavy. I got these in a size 22. I have no, oh no, 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 sorry, in an 18. But they're like really stretch and big. They're cute. They look cute oversized, but they make me look very heavy. So I hate to part with them, but they gotta go. I do have one more that is a little bit big. They're from the Target brand. But unfortunately, I'm going to try them all now and see what I'm thinking. I know today's vlog is probably very weird because it's just full of stuff. I have an entire pile in my bedroom as well. Um, hopefully, we'll be back to make dinner together soon. <laughs> but let me go through all these pants and see what fits. Okay, guys, it's like 3.50. I prepared all of my fixings for fajitas. This is just chicken breast sliced super thin with garlic black pepper right now just kind of get some seasonings going before i put the actual fajita seasoning then i have a white onion a big giant white onion because i love extra onion in my fajitas and a little bit of bell pepper so i'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit here on the stove till i'm ready to fry it up and then i just use the um old el paso fajita i don't use anything else it's the only one that i like and that's what we're having for dinner. So I will show you. And then we'll just eat them up in wraps. And my husband loves them with like tortilla chips. Sorry, I had a tomato on my thing. This is what I do for like... Remember Rachel Ray used to do garbage bowls? Well, I use old bags. Like the chicken was in there frozen. And then I just throw everything in there. It makes for an easy, easy cleanup. So yes, I will be back when it's time to cook up dinner. Smell good? No. It smells bad, but good. Why is it? Okay. Hey, you guys. So I was going to show you his dinner, but my husband came home and he was like super shaky. So he asked me if I could just get done dinner quickly done. So I just wanted to explain how I make my fajitas. I did show a clip of it cooked. So after you do all that, you just saute it till it's cooked through or to your desired like crispness. And then I put two thirds of a cup of water with all as much seasoning as you desire and let it simmer till the water kind of evaporates and it comes like a thick, um, it just gets real thick. And then I just serve it with salsa, sour cream and all the toppings. What is going on? My dogs are gonna start barking. So just salsa and all the toppings that you want. I just do salsa, sour cream, queso, stuff like that. But let me show you what my husband brought home. So I am sorry we didn't get to cook dinner together. But when he gets sick like that and shaky, which it doesn't happen often, but I can tell his blood sugar was dropping. So he sat down and I made dinner. I didn't have time to like lollygag. But he's like, hey, I brought you home a surprise. So Seagram's has the Jersey Shore pack. It's just strawberry, daiquiri, classic ma lime margarita, passion fruit mango, Jamaica Me Happy, Calypso Colado, and Wild Berry. These were really good. We drank them all weekend long way too much <laughs> and then he's like i got one more surprise for you and he brought me home this a man after my own heart so i'm just gonna get all this mess cleaned up i don't really think i didn't get very far with the clothes i got all of my summer stuff hung up but there's just so much winter shit i guess because i expanded my wardrobe over the winter it's so much more than i had last year so it's five o'clock we ate a little early today so i might i might not i don't know i kind of want to finish oh excuse me my book but again like i'm sorry we didn't cook dinner together i feel bad because i really enjoy that so i'm gonna put all that away finish cleaning the dishes i'll show you the progress we made and then i'll get unready with you maybe and just show you the products that i've been loving which is probably just all the same i can tell you this though speaking of hygiene so I never really had body odor that I really was like concerned about, but like on a day where it was super duper hot, everybody ends up having body odor, whether you're heavy or thin. This is a tip and I'm telling you, if you're struggling, try this. 
I will never not use Dial soap. Just the regular antibacterial orange Dial soap. I buy the bar soaps. I know not everybody's keen on it, so they do have a liquid version. You guys, it's replaced my Dove, everything. I use it on my face, behind my ears, everywhere in my private areas. Not like obviously inside my private areas, but my bum and the crease of my legs. I am telling you now, even when I sweat, it has just, it must be killing bacteria so that when I do sweat, there's not that odor to it. It's incredible. My whole family has been using it. I love it. I promise you, if you are someone struggling severely with body odor, give it a try. What could you lose? It's so affordable. You can get a eight pack for under $5. Um, and the dial like soap that's liquid, I think like the bigger bottle is maybe $3. Give it a try. I'm telling you, it is worth it. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to clean up. So right around six o'clock, I usually go up and just take a quick shower. I do have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to be out of the house most of the day. So just going to get it cleaned up again. I'm sorry. I really wanted to cook my fajitas with you, but like I said, when my husband gets like that, I have to feed him. I gave him peanut butter and I gave him some Kool-Aid when he came in to try to get a sugar up. And he's also on medications. He's also takes a cholesterol medication and he takes an antidepressant that sometimes causes it as well. Um, and I just like to regulate it quickly and get it fixed. So yeah, but you guys, if you have, if you ever try the Seagram's, let me know, cause they are good. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up. Sorry, today was kind of boring, but this is definitely, like a real day in the life, just getting spring cleaning done. I just don't know where I'm gonna put all the clothes. I'm gonna have to put them in the basement. I hate doing that, but I'm just gonna have to. There is so much winter stuff. Okay, you guys, so I just finished up my kitchen. As you can see, everything up here is just a mess. I'm like desperate. So I have some of my winter shit. This is the donate bag, which is quite a lot. I'm going to actually look around and see if maybe there's a women's shelter because I hate putting them in those bins. And then this is my dresses right there. And that's my other rack of dresses that I got to put away. Honey, leave that alone. And then I'll show you what I did in my bedroom. My husband's mowing. Here is more winter clothes. Uh, I just don't know what I'm going to do with everything. Oh God, my plant fell. Here is just t-shirts. Oop, that was my hair. Just shirts and t-shirts and pants up there and shorts. So that is what I've gotten so far. That's also donate. I just don't know what to do with so much stuff. It almost seems like such a waste. Honey, where'd you go? What doing under there? So that's progress so far. I'm about to take off my makeup soon and get in the shower and end my night with reading. Hi friends, sorry the lighting is bad. I can take you where it might be a little bit better, but it is nighttime now. And I do in fact have a gnarly cold sore. I don't know. It's like under my lip. I've never had one quite like that. Jesus, it's like really, really bad. If I have any tips, right now I just have a Breva and Aquaphor on it. Huh. What a shame. Okay, so this ends tonight. I'm just going to go and make lunches, sit down and read. This is what I'm reading right now. If anyone's interested, The Perfect Marriage. I think it's really good so far. I'm about halfway, and so far I really enjoy it. Um, so this is what I'm going to uh, end my evening. I will update you on that, but this ends today's vlog. I'm an early nighter. I think we're going to sit outside for a few minutes and have a couple beers. So if I do that, maybe I'll be back. Otherwise, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Hi, friends. So it's day two of like spring cleaning. Um, my daughter still isn't feeling good, but she's feeling better than yesterday. So my husband thought it would be best to maybe give her one more day to recuperate. It's been a kind of a hard to get hold of her doctor. I think that everybody's super duper busy right now. I feel like it's such a weird time of the year for people to get cold, but it seems like everybody's so sick right now. I was told um, strep was really bad. So she had strep A. I don't know what the difference is. There's A and B. I think B is the one that's got to be treated with antibiotics immediately. So today we are working on the rest of this mess. So I do have some stuff bagged. This is my winter stuff. Like I said, there's a big, well, there's a big bag here that I am donating. I'm going to look around today to see the best place to donate 
because I don't know how true it is, but I've heard rumors like those bins typically throw out. Ooh, sorry, that was. Those bins typically throw out the clothes, which would be really upsetting because there's so many people in desperate need of clothes. So I just wonder if there's maybe a shelter or somewhere I can donate nearby me. Um, it just makes me feel better than trying to sell this stuff and repurpose it. It just seems nicer and the best thing to do is try to help somebody else out. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up here and then I'm going to work on getting my downstairs cleaned up a bit. But that's about it. Um, still working on this rash. And it's in between my breasts. I think I showed it in yesterday's vlog. I'm going to probably put this all into one vlog. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I ordered nail polish, toenail, no, top coat so I can do my toenails. And my perfume's coming. I think I, sorry, my dogs are barking. They, I just, inevitable in a vlog. If it was something more professional, I would, um, I would cut it out. But, uh, the Skylar Boardwalk Delight, you guys. I'm not someone who's a big sweet fan. I used to be growing up. I loved cotton candy and vanillas. And usually for summer, I do Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue, like I said, and the Replica Beach Walk. I'm just looking at them so I knew the name. I don't know why. And winter is Flower Bomb. But I wanted something sweet just for those days that I'm craving it. And I took a chance and it is really good. Trust me, if you like Gourmand, you're going to love it. So that's what I'm getting going today. I still have this nasty crater on my face. It is painful. Um, I did cover it up with a Q-tip. That way I don't contaminate the rest of my makeup. And I'm just going to throw, obviously, through those out. And then use my finger to powder. And then disinfected my finger with um, Dial antibacterial. That way I try not to spread it. I know I shouldn't put anything on it other than medicine. Sorry, I thought I smudged my nose. I know that. Sorry, the barking's probably annoying. But... I'm going to get to cleaning and show you what I get done. This might be boring. Maybe just bring somebody a little bit of company. I know a lot of people just enjoy company. And that's why I watch a lot of videos is I just enjoy the company when I'm doing something. So, yeah. My life has been kind of chaotic recently, believe it or not. Usually my life is pretty quiet and slow paced. But like I have said in a couple videos, I believe I said it. Um... My husband's best friend's divorcing and it's a mess. And it's a mess because the woman he's seeing is just, I feel bad saying this, but she's just a breath of fresh air. Um, she's just one of the nicest people. And I know you shouldn't feel that way about a mistress or whatever you want to call them, but it's like not, we don't know everyone's story. So I try not to judge too much. Um... Divorce is messy and it's lonely and it's scary and it affects people. And I've seen it do some really awful things to people. I don't know how people do it. Uh, I'm just grateful that my husband and I have a very, I, I don't want, like, the, I don't judge any type of relationship, but I would consider ours to be very traditional in the sense that, like, he works, I maintain the home. Um, we just do what works for us. We don't necessarily have any type of faith in our marriage. Like, um, I do consider myself to be agnostic and I don't really talk to him about it because he does have such a hard time with that kind of stuff. So I try not to bring it up too, too much with him. I acknowledge that there is something, I just don't know what, and I'm okay with that. Um, and we just live our life, um very traditionally I don't know how else to explain it like not that in, in a traditional marriage isn't going to work I think that whatever is working for you should you should continue to do we just do what's best for us I guess I don't know I take really good care of him I baby him when our daughter's off to college he's all that I will have um until she comes home so he'll get all the love and attention when she is at school I guess and I guess he's okay with that because his love, love language is affection and love. So everything on paper looks really good for our lives. We just seem to be, everything seems to be doing fantastic. Um, 
I have a brother-in-law, well, soon to be, that I just adore. He is the light in my sister's life. And how many people get to say how much they love their brother-in-law? I hope a lot. But this young man is just, oh God, I'm just so grateful for him. I know his, um, he comes from a very different type of household than us. He is Hispanic, which that doesn't matter to me, but he is living very different. He, he grew up very different than us. So we are a lot for him. We are very, like, they're very stoic people, I notice, and very, um, non-emotional maybe is the right word. Very strong, I should say. And we are very goofy and boisterous and very female dominant in our homes but he just eats it up and loves it so it just makes it that much more fun to have him here and see a different way of living and I'm I really 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 want to learn some Spanish I think that if I'm gonna have Hispanic um grandbabies nieces and nephews I raised my sisters that I think that that's a part of their life that I just really really feel like I would be doing a, a good service by learning. I know his mother speaks broken English, so I would love to just start learning. And I loved it. I used to do Duolingo all the time. I did it for like six months and I just got lazy, but I told my sister the other day, you know, it would be really nice if we all just started to learn a little bit of Spanish. It's just a courtesy and it's something that you should know. It's just a nice thing to do. Do you know what I mean? But we're gonna meet his mother soon. So everything in our life looks good. The only thing that I'm struggling with is something as far as a career path. And I know whenever it's supposed to happen, it will happen for me. But today I'm working on cleaning, getting my daughter better, and just being thankful that I'm here and thankful for what I do have. Thankful I can pay my bills and thankful that I'm just, at this moment, I'm okay. You know what I mean? I can't, I, what happens with my husband and I, and this is where we butt heads, I live in the future a lot and he struggles with living in the past and that seems to be where a lot of the conflict in our marriage comes from <clears throat> is just we're working on communicating and he you know explained some things in his life that he was struggling with and I wish I had known sooner and as soon as he was able to communicate that with me I understood him better and he got it off his chest you know what I mean so we are just everything looks good right now i just got to figure out what i'm doing with my life soon because my daughter's gonna be off to college soon not really sure why i'm sharing all this except maybe it will help somebody i like to do anything that might help because you just never ever know what someone's having happen in their life and i learned that quickly with all this divorce stuff you just cannot ever ever assume or judge the worst thing you can do is assume something about someone else's life because i can promise you you're gonna probably be completely wrong and assuming i feel like is no different than judgment and you just don't know do you know what i mean it's just like on the outside you could be like oh how could someone leave their family their wife and move on with somebody else but you just never never know do you know what i mean you just don't know and men can be abused too. I found, you know, I've always known that, but I've never experienced reverse abuse before until recently. And by golly, it is tragic. All abuse is horrific, but I've never seen it in a reverse setting where it was. Okay, I'll be back soon. Hey you guys, so my perfume came in. I'm gonna put you in front of the window so we can smell it together, even though <laughs> I've smelt it. That's why I bought it. But um, the samples that I got were really nice. This is the Cura stuff. I don't know how to say it, but they gave me a little hair oil, which is really cool. Sorry, you're sitting on my windowsill. This was a neat promo. So I got the strawberry um, glow recipe. They gave me 14 days. Sorry, someone's driving by in a Mustang. I hate loud cars. Um, so this is a pore treatment, evenly spread a pea sized amount gently onto cleanse toned skin AM and PM to target excess oil and refine the appearance of pores. I'm excited. And that's a decent, holy cow. Like that's a promo with you spent like $25 or more. And that's going to last me quite some time. 
awesome. And then this stuff, you guys, I love. So I got this in a sample last time. It's called the Butter. It's a hydrating mask for dry, sensitive skin. It is thick and I love it. I should order a full size, but I am done ordering stuff. So here's the perfume. Look at the gorgeous packaging. I had to order the perfume because I feel like the rollerball is what caused this rash which is supposed to be for hyperallergenic skin. It says hyperallergenic, safe for sensitive skin and eco-friendly. Um, it says it layers well with their salt air and their lime sands. It's pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. Daydreams of your youth become more vivid with treat in hand. Enjoy the breeze of the ocean, the sweetness of the present moment. The packaging is gorgeous. What I love about this is that it's like in a grown-up version but doesn't smell like pink sugar. There's nothing wrong with pink sugar. I actually do enjoy it. It's just very, very sweet. But this is like, look at the bottle. Bottle, first of all, the bottle is heavenly. What I like about this is it first goes on and it kind of smells like a dryer sheet. I'm not gonna put too much on because my skin is so sensitive right now. When it first goes on, it literally smells like you just put on like a clean linen and then it dries down to the most perfect cotton candy e vanilla and you guys i don't you got to take it when i tell you it's good vanilla it's good vanilla because again i'm somebody who is very 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 picky i am someone who is so picky about vanilla scents because for some reason i find them nauseating i'm probably the only person in the world who doesn't love vanilla like most people do who in the atomizer you guys look at the atomizer are you ready it's one of those good ones that like mists instead of just spritzes you guys i want to try out their coconut cove one i love coconut milk i love the taste of it i love the smell of it definitely get you at least a rollerball and give it a try i don't think you can buy it in stores i think you have to buy it online only here i am like just dousing myself after i said i'm not going to i think the bottle is gorgeous now i've said in the past like i am somebody who does not do not change the sense of whatever I'm wearing, but I'm trying to be a little more adventurous. I'm trying to find something that I can wear this summer that's not gonna bother me. And I love it, look at the packaging. It's pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. I'm telling you, when it first went on, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, that doesn't smell like cotton candy. I'm like, but I like it, it's clean, I like it. So at first it's like, almost like Snuggle, like the original Snuggle but then it starts drying on your skin and then the next note develops. So it's like, then the next note comes in and it's like vanilla and coconut, like you're on a tropic vacation. And then a couple minutes later, then you get that cotton candy, but like a grown up cotton candy, like you're on the, sorry, this is like so disgusting. I'm so sorry if it upsets somebody. Um, but then you get like a, I'm just a real person. <laughs> Then you get that like cotton candy, like you had funnel cake and you ate way too much at a fair and you're stuffed, but everything just kind of stuck to your clothes, like funnel cake, cotton candy, candy apples, uh, something coconutty and it's a hot summer day. It's so good. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm not the best at it. Definitely let me know what your favorite summer perfume is. And I'm sorry, though, I'm sitting on the floor <laughs> like a weirdo. Okay, you guys, so that is going to end today's, well, the last two days vlog. It is so nice to have HD and <laughs> I think all my face here, I'll cover it for you guys. But I am glad that you, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, well, today's vlog, it wasn't a full week. It was just for two days. Um, I finally got most of my clothes packed up. I just have to have my husband take them to the basement and figure out how we're going to store them. Probably going to buy a couple extra totes just to be safe, but... Yeah, that's the end of today. I have to go to work tomorrow and make up for the hours that I missed today and yesterday. So I'll just work extra long tomorrow and Friday. No big deal. Luckily, it's just I'm, I'm able to adapt to what I need to do. Look how bad this is, you guys. I have never. That's from that sh the uh, perfume that I just showed you. But it's not from the perfume spray. It's from the roll-on. Could I possibly, could it have just been maybe too concentrated? Could that possibly be why? I'm thinking that's why. I think that I was putting way too much on and it only happened right here. And then in my, between my breasts, I actually showed you guys, but maybe I can show you 
it's looking a little better. I probably shouldn't do that. I'm sure somebody's going to be upset that I did that. But it's looking a little bit better. Um, that's kind of disgusting. Maybe I shouldn't show that. I don't know. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I love vlogging. It makes me feel a little more connected to you guys. I love my more uh, sit down videos. But I do love just talking and vlogging. I did that back in Christmas. I vlogged every day of Christmas. And it was so much fun. I think I vlogged to the new year. I can't remember. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed your Mother's Day. I know it was a couple of days ago. Memorial Day is coming up next week not this week and the following weekend i can't remember let me know what you're doing for mother or not Ma jesus memorial day what are you doing for memorial day look my babies are sunbathing they love the sun they love soaking up the sun i think it's i think all dogs do but especially little guys so oh i'm almost finished i have what page am I on? I read a lot today, this afternoon, after I got all my chores done. What the heck page am I on? I'm on 289. This is a lot of fun. I want to finish it up so I can return it tomorrow when I go to work. Um, that was fun. Um, very predictable towards the end, so I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. I might just return that other one. I haven't even picked that up yet. That's Corrupted Chaos. Um, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I don't know if I like the premise of it. And I have a car, a book in my car that I might pull out from the library and try to read. I don't know. But if you're looking for like a, it's basically about a guy that is married to an, a very, very prominent defense attorney. He starts to have an affair and his mistress ends up dead in their bed. It's pretty good. And of course, he's the one accused and she defends him. Let me know if you've read that. I don't know what I'm picking up next. I've been reading a lot of thrillers, which is usually not my genre of choice. Usually I like um, a fantasy. I haven't read fantasy in a while. So maybe I'll pick up a fantasy novel. I have The Lonesome Woman. Is that the name of it? I don't know. I have something in my car that I definitely want to read. But that takes us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, I hope you stick around and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.